This is the program we made. Now we're going to save it. We're going to go to program. And over here it says save the application. We're going to click there. We have 20 files that we can store it in A through T. We're going to pick file A. We click on A. Now our program is stored under A. Well, we're going to change this, the color of the rectangle, to not 6 red, but 6 blue. We enter that, replace the line, execute our program. Ah, it got changed to blue. Well, what if we decided that, oh no, we really wanted to stay with A. When we put it in A when it was red. So we're going to go and click down here on A. Up. Oh, now it's back the way it used to be. We stored it in A. And now we brought it back from A by clicking down here. So now we're back the way it was. Now we're going to go to program. Subprogram 1. And we were entering subprogram 1 from the beginning here and coming down. But now we're going to make this into a tab routine. We do that by putting a tab number above it. So we go here and ask for a new instruction line. We go here and click on tab. It says tab 0. That will be the first tab. In subprogram 1, we'll say yes, enter that, and then put that tab above our routine. Alright, so one other thing we're going to do is we're going to make another line to put above that that simply says home and put that above it. Now, if you enter this subprogram 1 from above, it's immediately going to see the home command and go back to the main program and exit. So let's see if that's what happens now. Yes, look, nothing happens anymore because we told it to go to subprogram 1, but the first thing it saw was go home to the main program where it exits. So let's go to our main program. And instead of telling it to call 1, we're going to change this line. So under update, we're going to click on the line. We're going to go up here, click on that 1, and change it to 1, 0, 0. That means go to subprogram 1, tab 0. Well, we'll enter that. All right. We replace it. Now it says call 100. Now we'll execute it. Ah, now we got it back again. Why? Because it now says go to subprogram 1, tab 0, and we change subprogram 1 to have a tab 0 right before our routine. So now it's running our routine again. Now we're going to save this version of our program. Click Save the Application, and we'll save it in File B. That'll be it for now.